Hi, I am Isabella. I miss you, and I hope the feeling is mutual. Want to know how you can choose the right clothes to accentuate the good features of your figure, how to hide its imperfections? Then just click like. And for now, I'll gather my thoughts. I'll start perhaps with the most easy figure. Hourglass, or X shape. This is a figure with a pronounced narrow waist, broad chest and shoulders, which are visually equal in width to that of the hips. Almost all go-to clothing models are girls with such a figure, especially those that have an emphasized waist. And yeah, you notice, I have such a figure. I got really lucky. Maybe that is why I love fittings and shopping. Any clothes suit me. My friends are a little jealous of me and get upset about this a lot, but you know, choosing the right clothes for a more unique figure is much more enjoyable, so we don't know who got more lucky anyways. Alright, let's begin. Next is going to be the apple figure. There is no defined waist, but there's beautiful legs and chest. It's necessary to emphasize the thighs and breasts to hide the waist size. Low or high waist dresses? Yes. Tight? No. Pants that emphasize the beauty of the legs? Yes. Hiding the legs? Don't do it. Midi? Mini? Yes. Maxi skirts? No. By the way, excess weight with this figure doesn't tend to go to the legs. Everything tends to go to the tummy. Pair or letter A? This is a figure with narrow shoulders, small chest, well-defined waist, and full hips. The goal of this wardrobe is to correct the upper imbalance. So dresses with a shifted waist would be a no. And dresses that emphasize the hips would be a yes. Tight pants? Be absolutely not. But pants flaring from the knees? Yes. Mini skirts? No. Midi and maxi with emphasized waist? Yes. And in general, the best type of dress for a pair is one with a beautiful neckline. One that's unusually contrasting, like a dark bottom with a light top. By the way, accessories for pairs are essential. Large brooches and necklaces? Yes. Big shoes, large handbags in the hip area? Would be a no. An inverted triangle. This is a figure with broad shoulders and narrow hips. The goal of the clothes here is to narrow your shoulders, expand the hips, and highlight the waist. So, gulfs would be a yes, but blouses with peplums, no. Narrow skirts, no. Fluffy skirts, yes. Flared sleeves, no. Asymmetrical tops, one open shoulder, one wide shoulder strap, yes. Tight fitting trousers would be a no. Skinny and wide pants with a wide belt, side pockets and pleats, yes. Horizontal to the top would be a no as far as stripes go. Parallel to the bottom, yes. And the last type of body is a rectangular body shape. It is also called the banana. As a general rule, girls with such a figure are not inclined to be overweight. They have small breasts, beautiful long legs, graceful shoulders, narrow hips, so there's not really a pronounced waist. Clothes for this figure are almost anything to emphasize the waist, so straight two-tone dresses with side panels, yes. Plain straight dresses, no. High and low waistlines? No. But a corset would be a yes. Turtlenecks? No, but turtlenecks dressed with a jacket over top? Yes. Baggy pants? No. Tight fitting pants with a belt? Yes. Low and classic fit jeans? No. Moderate and oversized jeans? Would be a yes. Skirts? Fluffy skirts? Yes. But not rectangular. You can do it if, for example, you wear the skirt with a wide belt, though. It's wise to change the color of the upper third, middle, or lower sections depending on what you'd like to hide or emphasize. That's all for now. If you're interested in delving more to this topic, like, subscribe to the channel, and write in the comments which overview of clothes you'd like to hear, the type of figure you're most interested in. See you soon, friend! Oh, I totally forgot. I will tell you a small and at the same time a big secret from all stylists. If any figure is divided into three parts, then you can correct imperfections with the help of the right color scheme. See ya!